Okay, the parking lot at Trader Joe's was a nightmare. I literally had to do like two laps and then go to a completely different parking lot. Um, but I managed to get inside the store and I spent $156.63. Uh, I'm Natasha. I go shopping at Trader Joe's every week and I try the new items. I sample and review them. And hopefully I help make your shopping list at Trader Joe's a little bit easier. So let's jump into this week's holiday haul. There's a lot of holiday items here. So I'm going to jump in to these bags right now. <laughs> Gotta love Brody. He's really good at shrinking me. Um, okay, the first thing I'm going to start with um, is say that if you're new to my channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. My goal is to get to 40,000 subscribers on YouTube by the end of the year, and we're close. But I'm going to actually need people to go to YouTube and subscribe. And if you're watching this on YouTube, just make sure you subscribe. That way, it'll get closer. It's Natasha's list on YouTube. Um, the second thing I want to say is I got these beautiful flowers. That's actually not what I wanted to say. The thing I actually want to say is the third thing I'm going to say after this. Um, these are Gerber Daisies. I picked these up because they're gorgeous and they're so easy. Like if you're just like a want flowers or low maintenance by Gerber Daisies, you can just cut the stems the length you need. You don't have to do really any trimming or anything. So I kind of went with a Pantone color of like red, pink, and orange. I think they'll be pretty. They'll all go together. I was going to do more of a holiday, like red and green. And then I just wanted something a little brighter. Um, now this is what I really wanted to say. I am doing a revision review and I've never really done this before because usually I stand by my reviews. But recently I tried an item that I thought was like disgusting. I was so wrong about that. And then I kept eating it and it grew on me and I liked it so much. This is the Irish potato chips. These are like the blue cheese chips. I sampled them with my niece. I'm gonna open them. And like, they are weirdly addictive. I can't quite put my finger on it, but they're delicious. When I give these, like their crunch is good, they're thick, they've got these nice ridges. They've got like a tangy blue cheese flavor to them. Mm. I give these like a 9.5 out of 10. My previous review was not that, it was like, I'm gonna discard these. Um, so, a revision review on the blue cheese chips. Have you ever had a revision review from Trader Joe's where you tried something and you're like, I don't like it. And then you revisit it and you're like, no, I like it. Um, I packed these bags and somewhere in here, I need to sample the new ice cream before it melts. When will I learn how to pack a bag? Okay, where, okay, I found it. Down in the bottom, down in the bottom of the bin. Okay, English coffee ice cream, brand new from Trader Joe's. Let's see if it's good. Brown butter ice cream, yes, with chocolatey covered toffee pieces and almonds. This is the type of stuff I sign up for. Check this out, looks, looks delicious. Chocolatey covered toffee pieces. Okay, and if you're like me, you like to eat ice cream with a small spoon. It's a little melted because I did meander around the store. Mmm. That is delicious. Mmm. You guys, get this. It is so good. The brown butter ice cream is phenomenal. It's creamy. It's kind of got like a little savoriness to it. And then the toffee with the chocolate is sweet and it adds a crunch. I love a good treasure hunt in an ice cream. I like to be able to search for something. Like cookies and cream. Or chocolate chip cookie dough, uh, ice cream. It's a treasure hunt and it gives me a task. And it's rewarding when I find the treasure. So I really like this ice cream. I definitely say buy it if you're in the market. Um, contains milk, egg, soy, and almond. This is so good. I'm gonna be revisiting this later tonight. Oh my. I'm a huge fan of ice cream. I'm gonna put this in the freezer because I care about it. Give me a minute, love muffin. Where are you going to fit? I'm gonna put you right here. Okay, I'm gonna put you right here. Sorry for that. Sometimes I make the mistake of leaving the ice cream out the whole haul and then we have issues. You guys, don't forget to pick up the Trader Joe's Holiday Guide. It's out, it is packed full of new items and it's a great, it's a great read. 
it's it's pretty whimsical but there it goes english toffee ice cream page two really really good we like that we did get a lot of things in it like the jingle jangles back remember when jingle jangle first came out everyone's like freaking out about it but it's it's definitely a fun one this is like seasonal it only comes out for the holidays um comes in this wonderful tin some people like to keep the tin and they repurpose it for different things let me show you what this looks like okay this is the inside we've got dark and milk chocolate covered pretzels these little peanut butter cups and dark chocolate this is a what is this i think this is the popcorn yeah this is the chocolate covered popcorn mm. one of my personal favorites the knockoff m m's i love them what is your favorite bit in the jingle jingle milk yeah milk and dark chocolate covered pretzels dark chocolate covered caramel popcorn they have milk and dark chocolate covered mini peanuts sorry peanut butter cups dark chocolate and rogue jojo cookies i wish i could eat that and milk chocolate candies this is a good one really fun to set out at holiday parties if you're having events um or if you're doing a cheese board like a holiday cheese board get like the cinnamon toscana cheese and then you can sprinkle like jingle jingle all over the cheese board with some like fun festive cheeses it's a good one. Okay, I'm excited to try this. This is brand new, dark chocolate dipped candy cane marshmallows. In case you're like me and you love marshmallows, this is gonna be a fun one. Um, it contains milk and soy, those are the allergens. Let's do the big reveal. Two pieces are one serving. There's a lot of ingredients in this, but honestly, they're not that bad. And they used tapioca syrup for their marshmallows, which is good because it's not corn syrup. I saw these and I first thought it was like a dark chocolate covered peppermint rice cookie treat, but no, it's just candy cane dip marshmallows. So here we go. That's what it looks like. I'm going to bite into it. Mmm. I love marshmallows. And I love everything that's going on with this. I love dark chocolate. I love candy cane pieces. I approve of this as a holiday treat. Whenever I, people get those seized candy boxes, I always seek out like the caramel chocolate ones and the marshmallow caramel ones. So this is fun because I don't have to seek anything out. Mm. Wow. I wanna, should I put these in the freezer? Maybe I'll put them in the freezer. Well, I kind of like them like this. Um, mm, these are <clears throat> really, really good. And brand new. Woo! We got this last week. Caramel, sorry, <clears throat> not caramel. French onion popcorn. French onion popcorn. Um, supposed to be like French onion soup based off the bag and it was so good my little niece and I were eating it it's a really weird flavor when you eat it after that dark chocolate covered candy cane marshmallow but it has like a sweet oniony flavor like if you've ever eaten Funyuns think of the flavor of Funyuns all over popcorn um and I have a mild allergy to popcorn so I really shouldn't eat too much of it but I liked it so much I got it. And whenever my friends come over, I just give them all the corn products. Mmm, okay. This week I'm gonna go check out Mammoth. This weekend, do a little snowboarding. So I got some road trip snacks that are very important to share with you because road trips, if you're not, if you don't have the right snacks with you, it really can like make or break it. Like you could get hangry in the car ride. You'd have, you'd kind of, you might be in the middle of nowhere. What are you gonna do? Then you have to go to a gas station and eat over gas station snacks? You can do better about it. So I do have string cheese in the fridge. I'm gonna take that. My friend I'm going with is vegan, so I got some vegan items. The pecan popcorn is a good one. It's delicious. I've reviewed it in the past. I was buying this like weekly, um, and then my skin was really pissed off at me because of my allergy. And so I was like, hey, I'll wind it back. But that's really good. Um, I picked up some savory square crackers as well. I actually got two boxes of these. I love these. They're like a healthy Cheez-It. Um, my little niece tried it and said she thought it tasted like a goldfish. So do what you will with that information. I bought two boxes, one for at home, 
and one for the road trip. Um, there are new items in here. At the end of this, I'm going to show you guys all the new items in the store because there's just so many items. I'm not going to buy them all because um, more of it's like a lot of like treats, like biscuits, cookies, um, like the big chocolate assortments. If you've been to Trader Joe's, you know they come in every year. But I did buy the giant coin because why would I not buy this? I, re I just remembered I bought it years ago. I remember putting this on my thumbnail for YouTube. <laughs> Um, but this is a giant coin and I kind of just want to like keep it on my desk and just like, it's like a positive reinforcement. Look at the size of this. Pretty sure it's real gold too. That's why it was $1.99. Um, I picked up some spinach for soup that I forgot to buy more soup. Dang it. I meant to buy more of the organic lentil soup next week. I will get that. Um, this is back for the seasons, Scandinavian tidings. I actually got these for the road trip because, and this, when you're out snowboarding, you need some sweet. Um, I like this gummy because it doesn't have wheat, wheat in it, so it's like gluten-free. Um, and it has tapioca syrup. So for me, this is like a Natasha-friendly gummy. I'm gonna try the little star. Mm. It's good. It's not as good as the spring cam gummies, but I think it's important to have a wide variety. I'm gonna drink one of these acid cherry juice shots right now. Oh, they're so good. Also, they make me just feel like I'm full of health and there's so much vitamin C in it. Vitamin C is great for your skin, collagen production. Helps your body better transport iron. Um, it's so good. And it's just 12, is it 12? Acerola cherries. Mm. And I've been around a couple of people who have been a bit sick this week and I want to get sick. So I'm supporting my immune system with a heavy dose of vitamin C. Um, another road trip snack, just a handful of almonds, cranberries, and coffee check mix. I was going to get the ones with the chocolate, but then I opted for this one. And I think there's another one that does have all of this plus chocolate, but I was on the move today in Trader Joe's. After how long it took me to park, I was like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna grab this. I can't do too much research. Um, brand new, this is another holiday item I'm excited about. Um, peppermint crunch popcorn with a dark and white chocolatey crust candy cane coating. So I found this above all the frozen sections. Um, this one may contain wheat, peanut, only cashew, pecan, so it's kind of scary. It just, I think what it means is it's made in a factory that makes all those things. So you could come into contact with something you're not hoping to come into contact with. But I thought this would be a fun one to try. Dark and white. I'm, I'm going for the dark chocolate one first. Mmm. Well, it's kind of... I mean, it's really good. It reminds me more of like a kettle corn. Because it's crunchy. But the peppermint flavor is really nice. Try this white one. This is good. You could even dump some of this in your jingle jangle when you make a dent in the jingle jangle. Dump some of this in. Okay, that's fun. I put that in like one of those little brown olive wood bowls from Trader Joe's and make it part of like a, like if you either just like, some people like to like set snacks out during the holidays, that's a good one to set out. Um, for the pups who are currently getting groomed, I got them chicken and brown rice recipe treat sticks. <clears throat> they will love that. Um, I am buying the dark chocolate orange for myself. The reason I love this and my sister, well, my niece and I opened it last week and then I left it with my niece because she loved it. But this is fun because it's an interactive item from Trader Joe's. So you pull it out, you get a free sticker. But the, the trick with this one is, let me see if I can, because I thought that was gonna go off the counter. I want you to be able to see this. You take it and then you smash it on something hard. So one, two, three. And then take your Trader Joe's sticker because you've completed the interactive piece. Put it on your chest, wherever you want. You put it on your nose, doesn't matter. Then you open it up and it's like an orange and all these little delicious orange slices. That's a big one, I want a smaller one. I like the thin ones. And it's like a chocolatey orange flavor. Mm. It's so good. These remind me of growing up. My dad was friends with um, 
a man who owned an orchard. And they always had these like dark chocolate orange sticks that were so good. So I think for me, there's like some nostalgic value to this, but it's also around the holidays. There's something nostalgic about it. It's so good. Mm. I'm gonna put this in the fridge. My trash pile is growing. Mm. I'm taking some ba bagels up to Mammoth. Um, Gluten-free, almost everything bagels, and then everything bagels, because these ones are vegan, these ones are not. Um, and then a vegan cream cheese. The hotel we're staying at, I love. Um, it's, I'll tell you next week, so that, just in case, safety reasons. But it's one of my favorites. And they've got like a, a like a continental breakfast in the morning that I can't eat anything at, but they have a toaster oven, so I'm gonna take advantage of that toaster oven. Um, organic fried a tofu mango. Um, these are so good. I'm picking these up. I'm gonna pick a little baggie. Just like it's really nice to have some sort of sweet treat when you get back from skiing. So good. Last year I did not regret those mangoes. I pretty much ate them all. And I bought dark chocolate because without a doubt I will crave dark chocolate when I'm on the mountain and I usually will have it when I'm back in the room. So I got that and then where is, oh here we go. I got some cold brew to take so I can in the morning wake up with a little bit of cold brew and almond beverage. These two are non-perishable so I, that's why I bought this one which is non-perishable. I'm, I'm taking up some more acerola cherry juice shots. I am gonna have to put those in the fridge though and grab them before I leave. Um, for the dogs, I also got them these chicken bone broth recipe dog treats. I like these dog treats because they are the perfect way to like train dogs. So if you have a puppy and you're trying to train them to like go outside and go to the bathroom, give them a treat. They're just that little nibble bite that's like really good for training. And even though my dogs are 14 and 18 years old, I'm constantly trying to train them. So it's just how it goes. Um, I picked up some Organic pink lady apples. Um, I'm gonna take these on the road trip and then also for the hotel room. And I like those organic ones because they're like normal apple size, like the non-organic ones are huge. And that's just too much apple for me. Um, and then for the Opre Ski, I picked up a bottle of the North Coast sparkling wine. Um, it's like a California, it's, it's, a, it's a bubbly wine made in the style of champagne, but it's from California, not champagne. Um, never had it before, it's reserved. I'm, Thinking it's gonna be good because it's a brute, which means it's a drier um, sparkling wine, and I love those. And then we love the QQQ. This is an organic vegan wine. Um, it's natural. It's one of my favorite reds at Trader Joe's right now. It's not a complex wine. It's like a table wine. It's easy to drink. Um, it's like $9.99. Tastes good, and it doesn't give me a headache in the morning, which is important with red wines because like some red wines will destroy me. These, this does not. So I picked up two bottles of this champagne and that's going to be like the party in mammoth but we'll probably also go out too i just want to make sure like our hotel room feels like cozy and fun for the girls mammoth weekend and then i picked up some italian sparkling water um probably take a couple bottles bottles of this with me up to mammoth i'm just wondering about it should be fine i was thinking about the elevation but it'll be fine um and that's it so that was 156 dollars my very first revision review that's a pretty big deal let me know what items you're going to buy this week from Trader Joe's. Um, and yeah, keep an eye out. I'm going to actually, if you're watching this on YouTube, we're going to hit play and you're going to see all the items inside the store that I did not buy, but that maybe you might want to. And if you do buy them, let me know your review on those items. All right. See you guys next week. And if you're on Instagram, stick around. I will come chat with you now. German iced gingerbread soft spice cookies are now available at Trader Joe's. In the gingerbread world, you can also find the gingerbread house kit. That's also in the holiday guide. And don't forget to pick up these seasonal cookie mug hangers. These are also little gingerbread cookies. They're very cute, pair well with hot chocolate. The panoply of organic Italian pastas is now in stock. There are five different fun pastas for $9.99. Next up, you will find that there are several types of gummies in stock. These are brand new, the festive chaos of gummy candy. I didn't pick these ones up because they actually contain wheat. In the coffee department, the Wintry Blend is now available. It's back on the shelf. As seen in the holiday guide, the Petite Fours Moose Cakes have arrived. And cheese lovers, check out the size of this brie that is now in stock. It's a double cream brie, so you know it's going to be good. And you can use this in any of those fun brie viral recipes floating around the internet. 
Next up, the Christmas sprinkles have arrived. And one thing about Trader Joe's sprinkles that I love is there's no artificial colors. Another holiday guide favorite are the mini chocolate mousse desserts. And you'll see that your favorite holiday JoJo's are now stocked. And if you're a peppermint fan, the peppermint pretzel slims are now available at $3.49. Someone asked me recently if persimmons are in stock, and yes, they are. Here you can find them over in the fresh produce. And I believe that these cookies are brand new. So it's chocolatey Danish cookies, and there's two of three different types of cookies in here. And these are brand new. They're crunchy milk chocolate hazelnut pralines. These look delicious. And a new tea, a cocoa berry black tea blend is available for $1.99. I also spotted this British shortbread cookie collection. Three different types of cookies in one box. I believe it's $7.99. And for $1.99, you can pick up the candy cane batten wafer cookies. And last but not least, cocoa truffle collection product of France.